All right, this is One Last Midnight. Welcome back to another episode of Astroneer. And today we're going to look at the automated soil centrifuge. Yep, you can turn dirt into stuff. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy the video. In order to make the automated soil centrifuge, we're going to need a couple things. Now, some of the items are free, the canister, the medium, platform A, that you don't have to spend any research bites on. But you're going to have to unlock the soil centrifuge, the auto arm, the button repeater, the medium resource canister, the large platform B, and the medium soil canister. This is the medium canister is a medium soil canister. All that's going to cost you 7,550 bytes. But there's a catch. And the catch is, look, you're going to need the chem lab. So you're going to have to have at least made the shuttle, some sort of thruster or smelter. I mean, you're going to have to make a lot of stuff. So this isn't really directly out of the box kind of game. It is after I've made the shuttle, after I've made the chem lab, and now I can make the automated soil centrifuge. Okay, to make this automated soil centrifuge build, we're gonna need one resource canister, one plat large platform B, one soil centrifuge, one medium soil canister, two regular canisters, an auto arm, two button sensors, and two medium platform A's. And if you follow all that and you just only use that, it's gonna cost you seven resin, two compound, two aluminum, one graphite, two zinc, two plastic, and two glass. As we did in other build videos, we're gonna look at a couple different scenarios, and this is scenario number one after the chemistry lab. Okay, so we have all of our items made over here. Let's go ahead and set it up. First, you wanna grab the large platform B and position that around your power. And then you wanna go ahead and grab your soil centrifuge, put it on top of the large platform B. Grab a medium platform A and position it just off to the side of the soil centrifuge. This is where we're gonna stick our auto arm. Now, if you notice, the auto arm is prepped with a resource. That is because if you don't prep this auto arm, it's actually gonna grab stuff on the large platform B, like soil canisters, and we don't want it to do that. We just wanna grab resources. So it's pretty good to have some sort of resource that you're going to be creating on the soil centrifuge inside of the auto arm so it doesn't accidentally grab things like the soil canisters that it shouldn't and so we're going to hook that up make sure that the green area greenish white area is over the soil centrifuge and the blue area is over here where we're going to stick another platform b and a medium resource canister now remember that we don't have anything else right now. This is this is what we have. So this is right after I've gotten the chemistry lab, right after I've made my shuttle, I've come back and I'm able to finally build the items that I need to be able to make an automated soil centrifuge. We're not we're not later game. We don't have any big giant platforms yet. All right, so you're going to put on your medium soil canister and then you're going to go ahead and grab two canisters and just put it onto the soil centrifuge. Now, just look at everything to make sure it's all lined up correctly. And this medium resource canister does not have anything in it, and that's fine. And so, how do you make this run? I mean, how do you make the soil centrifuge run? Because the functionality of the soil centrifuge is, boom, I hit the button. It makes my uh, new resources, and then it deposits my resources, and then it's done. It stops. It doesn't continue on by itself. In order for it to continue on by itself, we need to make a little clock. And how do you do that? Well, you grab two button repeaters and you hook one button repeater. I'm just going to put it down here to make like a little, you know, I don't know, a little, little connection thing. So you can see the line, right? So you're hooking it up to the button repeater. Instead of directly to the button repeater, I just did a little line, which is no problem. We can see the, the movement of the activation. You're gonna take the next button repeater and you're gonna attach it to the first button repeater. And then I'm gonna turn this button repeater on. And so what's happening here? Well, this button repeater is telling this button repeater, hey, activate. And this one's saying, no, no you, you activate. And they say, no, no you activate, and you activate. And it's continuing to go on and on and on and on and on, giving you somewhat of a little clock. Now, in order to automate the soil centrifuge, what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to branch this out and you're gonna connect it right up to the soil centrifuge. Try to connect it up to this little gray bar right here. And that way, this whole thing should function correctly. 
And then we are going to turn on our auto arm and uh, set the soil, the medium soil canister to enable output. And once it does, it's gonna start feeding soil to the soil centrifuge. And then the soil centrifuge is automatically going to start. We're making compound, that's fine. And so when it's done making the compound, it's gonna turn around and put the compound off into the medium resource canister. And then it's gonna start this process all over again. Except that I had resin in my auto arm. I forgot to change this over to resin, but that's okay, no big deal. So the concept is sound, right? So as soon as you complete, as soon as the auto arm completes and puts it into the medium resource canister, it's gonna fire off the soil centrifuge again, and it's gonna to continue to make more compound. Now, how do I stop this process? So I've got it all wired up and this is working just fine and I don't want a million and a half compound. Well, you could let it fill up the medium resource canister and then it'll fill up the soil centrifuge and the soil centrifuge will stop. Or all you'd have to do is disconnect one of the button repeaters and the whole process will stop. And that is the automated soil centrifuge. All right, let's look at scenario number two. And this is after you make some large platform. In this case, the extra large platform C. So as you can see here, I've got set up two soil centrifuges. I've got myself a large storage silo B, which can then turn around and hold a lot of medium soil canisters. And I've also got a large resource canister. Behind that, I've got a little bit of power. Now, this is much later in the game. Obviously, you're gonna have to make a nano carbon to be able to make the extra large resource canister. And then some of these items are pretty pricey also because you've got to get a lot of hematite and other things to be able to make all of this stuff. But the premise is still the same. I'm going to have two button repeaters. I'm going to attach one button repeater to the other one. I'm going to take the other button repeater and I'm just going to make a little, you know, H or something like that and attach it to the other one. And then I'm going to branch this off and create two segments, one to the first soil centrifuge and the other one to the second soil centrifuge. Okay, I'm trying to connect it up to that little gray bar. And then I wanna make sure that these are set to the resource that I want, which is ammonium. And I wanna turn these soil canisters to enable the output. All right, so then the soil centrifuges are gonna fill up with soil. And all I have to do is tell this button repeater to turn on and we're gonna start the entire process. So centrifuges are gonna fill up, they're gonna spin out. And then this process starts all over again and you wind up making more of the resource that you want. You know, this process will go on as long as you have soil in your medium soil canisters. And I'm, I'll tell you, it's gonna take a while to empty out all of these soil canisters. So I'm gonna have a good amount of ammonium at the end of the day. So this is, like I said, more towards the later end of the game when you've got yourself that nanocarbon and you've gotten yourself a couple large platforms where you can build a scenario like this, but you could see that it's pretty useful. Okay, that was my video on the automated soil centrifuge. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. We'd love to have you in the community. If you want to follow me on any of my social media, you find the links in the description below and make sure to hit that notification bell. That way you know when I go live and when I post new videos. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.